Just a few weeks before the fire at the DeSoto Hotel, a paranormal investigative group was given a tour. ABC 7's Will Heron spoke with one of the members about his experience. Will joins us live now, Will. Eric, Colin Brow, and the owner of YouTube channel Paranormal Files, the official site, said that he came to the hotel with his father and met up with the ghost tour guide. He said it was one of multiple places in the borderland that they planned on investigating. He said he felt extremely lucky to be able to get into the hotel and film when they did just weeks before it burned. There's an area, the office area, that had a big glass pane. They had thrown a chair through that, so there was, like, debris and stuff everywhere. Browen has been investigating paranormal activity and documenting it on his YouTube channel for around nine years now and was surprised by the condition of the hotel. There's one specific story about an elderly gentleman that just left the hotel one day and then he never came back and no one was ever able to find out where he had gone to, but all of his stuff, like his asthma medication, um, his pill bottles, all of that is still there or was still there in the hotel on the fourth floor. Before the one that destroyed the DeSoto took place, there were other fires in the building. This portion of the ceiling that actually had um, like charred wood and old fire damage from this fire in the 40s. And we talked about, you know, how a fire could take the building down. While in the basement, Browen got video of a pile of papers that had been lit on fire. Browen says he also saw what appears to be a message someone wrote on one of the doors. I don't know what it was painted with, but they painted crosses on the doors right there. That's his room. And to just see that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like being in a horror movie when you're looking at this door, you know the story. In other areas of the hotel, 666 was scrawled on the wall. It ended up being one of the darkest investigations that I've done in a long time. Brown said that he has done hundreds of investigations all over the world, but the DeSoto Hotel was one of the creepiest he'd ever experienced. Here in downtown El Paso, I'm Will Heron, ABC7. Very interesting perspective there, Will. Thank you.